Alright guys, we're back with another one. And this is the OnePlus 3. Hey, it took a while, but it's finally here, and I'm looking forward to it. So we have a 3 on the box. We got a OnePlus logo, OnePlus 3 on the sides, which is cool. And we have right here on the back, nice red, looks good. Nice boxing, real premium looking box. And I'm looking forward to it. This is a mid-range budget phone that gonna run like a flagship without breaking your pocket. This is awesome. So real clean, minimum box. I know what's gonna happen. I feel the phone is gonna just pop out. Okay, we got it nice and clean. So here we go, one plus three, looking real good. This is awesome. So right here you can see the phone just looks absolutely sweet nice minimum bezels bezels are not too big i like it you got the volume rocker right here you have the sim card ejector i think it's a dual sim you have the 3.5 millimeter jack you have at the bottom here usb type c you have a microphone you have a nice speaker and then you have these tactile, I already could feel it, uh, the volume rocker, and you have this toggle switch, which we're gonna look into that. And here we go on the back of the OnePlus 3. So let me put this to the side for one second and get into the rest of the box. So this is our booklets up in here. Let's take a look at that. And I really like the boxing of the OnePlus 3. So right here we have a nice sticker safety information quick start guide that's really hot and we have the sim card ejector I'm, I'm really feeling that one plus three card just cool and here we have it this nice red USB type C and to uh, USB this looks really hot now and right here you have the dash charging basically this is a charging brick that's gonna give you more amps to your phone that's gonna provide the fast charging more heat is gonna be um, be in the brick than on the phone so your phone is not gonna overheat so while you have it plugged in you can play games and so forth and from what I'm hearing there's a little bit of cool a fan in here or something like that that you really can't hear so that's really hot. So that's it for the box. Let's look into this. Let's get this powered up. So you guys can take a look at that large screen. So you can see there's two capacitive buttons at the bottom. And it has this type of oval fingerprint scanner at the bottom, which is real cool. I like it. I could already, you, from the time you take this out, you feel that this is a premium handset. So we have a 5.5 inch 1080p AMOLED screen. And that's the hottest thing about this. 1080p AMOLED, so it's not 2K display. It's not gonna drain the battery. It should keep up with battery life. So we get off, got off that sticker. And down here, since it's not edge to edge, I am gonna take it off. But this is a nice look that they did put on a nice screen protector that you can leave on or take off. But I really want to enjoy this screen. Got it all set up, put in all my information, put in all my apps, and you can see it right here. Got everything all set up, all my Google apps right there. I put on the dark theme, my social apps. Everything's my games, my entertainment, uh, music, my music apps. I got everything all set up. I'm feeling it. I don't feel no RAM issues. Change the button, the button arrangement. I have no RAM issues. This thing is running real fast. So far, so good with this one plus three. Feels good in the hand. 5.5 inch I must honestly say it doesn't feel like a 5.5 inch the um, AMOLED 
1080p, it's enough. I don't feel no way that I'm dealing with a secondary screen. This screen is on point. Um, if I take this and look at a Quad HD screen, I won't know the difference. The brightness level is awesome. So you got a wow. Snapdragon 820 processor with six gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of onboard storage. That's some hot stuff. USB Type C at the bottom. You have the speakers, a mono speakers, but it's very up all the way. This, this is not bad at all. This sounds awesome. Definitely a mono speaker. Headphone jack, which is hot as well. 8 megapixel camera in the front, 16 megapixel camera in the back. Now, doesn't have OIS, but they have some type of op some type of imaging stabilization. We're gonna check that out. Um, power button, very tactile. It works. It feels rich. Um, two SIM slots. And you also have the toggle, toggle switch. All right, let me show you guys. Toggle switch, priority mode, silent, just in case you're in meetings and all everything back on. Um, volume button up and down. Everything is in the right spot. For me, everything is in the right spot. I have no issues. This thing feels super thin device, super thin. So first impressions, I must honestly say one plus you has definitely impressed me. Fingerprint scanner is there with any other great fingerprint scanner. I don't see any hesitation with this phone. It just runs. It feels like stock Android with some extra bells and whistles of the one plus three i'm gonna put it through its limit i'm gonna work this phone every day this is the only thing i'm gonna use now i'm gonna put this one plus three to the test and i'm gonna give it a full review so pretty much with that that's the end of that this is the unboxing of the one plus three so far if you're thinking about getting it just get it. Just expect it to take a long time to come. See you in the next one.